live at the Casino Royale Hotel on beautiful Sandbridge Island, just off the coast of South Carolina, for a late night 4th of July celebration. We have with us the hotel's owner, Mr. Martin Westcott. Mr. Westcott. Well, my hotel manager, Amber Malloy, is the real hero behind tonight. Thank you. Well, when Mr. Westcott asked me to join him, I was thrilled. And it's been a wonderful adventure so far. You want to kiss my broken heart for love? Hmm? No.
So are you gonna talk to Trask? Yeah, later on. Yeah, well, I don't know. I mean, it's been three weeks. I mean, we should have our money by now. Keep your eyes open. I I'm doing it. Anything? No. Wiley. Yeah. Blackjack 3. Run an FR on this guy. Scratch Monahan. I knew I recognized him. And I bet he's not alone. Sun's gonna be up in about 15 minutes. I'm well aware of the time. I'm out. It's been a very profitable evening. Thank you, ladies and gents. And uh, this is for you, sweetness. Slots, row three. Uh, looks like the whole row. Son of a bitch. Check them out. All right. What's going on? Got a problem with the slots. Road 318. Check it out.
I'm in. I'm cashed out. It's four minutes. Can't see anything, got nothing here. Looks the same. I got nothing out of the ordinary. Yeah. The vault is open, the guard is down. Son of a bitch. Stop him. All security. All security. We have a vault freeze. Level five containment. Level five containment. Looks like you got company. You got that right. Can you shake him? I'm sure gonna try. Plan A's out. So is B, C, and D. I'm running out of letters. You stop! Hey! Just get the transfer. I'll be there. Right. Hey, Slogan. Do we know each other? I know you. I'm flattered. Arrest him! Ace! Forget about him! The guy with the double back! Better security than I thought. Yeah, who was that guy? I don't know. I'm getting too old for this shit. <laughs> you always say that. Yeah, well, this time I mean it. You always say that, too.
Let's just add a Baker 9 in pursuit of a blue fourth. Rollers. We can't outrun them in this. Yeah, then we'll have to outdrive them. Tango Charlie 13, my trailer brakes are locked up. I've unhitched, I'm gonna pull away, set up some cones, and wait for him. It's a truck! Shit! Oh! He ain't gonna move. Stand perfectly. It's no problem, Storsten. We'll see you at the club this weekend. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Where are we? 
are we? I don't believe this. You were dead on about Brenda. I've been on Noah's website since 4 a.m. She's hitting the Eastern Caribbean like a runaway train, and she's picking up speed. Did Ted get my email? Affirmative. He's breaking news with the story. Good. Teaches these people didn't even have a chance. Doesn't take technology to tell you that a storm is a mine all its own, that's for sure. That doesn't look so good. This high pressure system isn't going to last much longer. Call it a hunch, but I'd say Brenda's going to punch through and head straight for Puerto Rico. Mm. Well, should I call Ted? We still have time to edit. No, 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 no. The story stands for now, but I do want you on hurricane watch okay. for the next 24 hours. If this present movement changes even an inch in any direction, I want to know about it. What are these? Well, those just happen to be NHC's track and intensity forecast for the Atlantic over the last 72 hours. Mel, you are reading my mind. You're welcome. Incidentally, uh, what if your hunch is on target? Then there'll be a major catastrophe. The extent of damage left behind by Hurricane Brenda is so massive the number of fatalities might not be assessed for days. According to initial reports, at least 18 residents are dead and over 90 reported injured. The most devastating blow is the destruction of homes, leaving tens of thousands homeless. 125 mile per hour winds knocked down telephone and power lines. A resident with a shortwave radio reported that at least 50% of the homes on the smaller islands, such as St. Croix and St. Thomas, have sustained massive damage or are simply obliterated. Ted Pretty, SNN News, Florida. Welcome to the Grand Royal Casino, gentlemen. Here are your security IDs. Wear them at all times while in the casino or on the premises. You will report directly to Mr. Trask. I need you to sign here, initial at the bottom. And that's it. Any questions? You're not happy with this decision, are you? It is of no consequence to you what I think. Excuse us for breathing. I think Mr. Westcott's making a very big mistake. And if it were up to me, you'd both be in jail. Well, hey, don't sugarcoat it on my account. <laughs> You're here under Mr. Westcott's arrangement. And I expect you to be professional, courteous, and to follow the rules. And if you don't, I'll make sure you go to prison for a very long time. Miss Malloy, what my partner has failed to communicate is we are both appreciative of this second chance. And we will do our very best with the opportunity. Right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. Good. That's all. Gentlemen. Sir. Remember? All right. Sir. I have to say, I think you're making a mistake. At least that's one thing you and I agree on. I know what I'm doing. This is... This is dangerously unconventional. How do we know these criminals aren't going to use this to their advantage? These two criminals broke in here and walked out with over $1 million. They didn't walk out. A $1 million your security was supposed to protect. If I'm going to try a new approach here, I really would like your support. Anything else? Weather reports are still inconclusive, but it looks like the hurricane is headed this way. It could hit within 48 hours. I'm thinking of an evacuation plan. Evacuation? Wasn't that a little drastic? Hardest hurricane in 20 years. News reports seem positive. It's going to hit us. Come back to me when they are positive. OK. OK. 
Scraps table one. Guy just introduced a pair of loaded dice. Wiley table one crabs, change out the dice. Scratch, slot machine 24. Little old lady's got a monkey bar in her purse. <laughs> You're all right. Excuse me, uh, ma'am. I don't need anything. I'm fine. Uh, this is about your, uh, your jackpot here. It's wonderful, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I've stayed on this machine all morning, and it's finally paying off. That's, uh, after you jammed the monkey bar up the chute there, Charlie? I beg your pardon? Oh. Hotel security. But I'm innocent. <laughs> Blackjack, table three. Guy just switched his bet. I don't think so. I've been watching him. Give me an instant replay. Frame by frame. Son of a bitch. Dawson Blackjack 3, the guy in the suit switching bets. Mitch Trask. Bennett. Nice catch on that old lady. Actually, uh, that was Ace. Having fun playing with your joystick? There's a joke in there somewhere. Where? This job's no joke. I take it very seriously. Well, so do I. But it doesn't mean we can't have a little fun with it. You gotta lighten up, though. Mr. Westcott may have given you a second chance, but I am watching you, waiting for you to screw up. You remember that. I'm gonna go check on Scratch. Make sure he's not screwing up. about my theory on Puerto Rico from NAC. Here's your coffee. Actually, Carol just called, and they're evaluating your data, comparing it to theirs, and they'll get back to us as soon as possible. Evaluating? My numbers are dead on. There's a hurricane headed toward a densely populated island. I mean, somebody's got to make a decision now. But they're still doing post-storm on the Virgin Islands. What's left of them? Oh, John, I guess you're going to have to be patient on this one. There's no time to be patient. <clears throat> There's just no time. Friend is clocking in at 90 knots. Now, by the time she hits Puerto Rico, she's going to be a Category 3. I mean, somebody's got to warn them before it's too late. John, look, I'm sure NHC is just following protocols. Protocols for bureaucrats. We're dealing with a byproduct of global warming that has turned into the storm of the century here. Just look at that. It's amazing. Amazing? Don't you mean scary? You see the system here? 
Mm -hmm. It's breaking down. Right. By my calculations, after Brenda hits Puerto Rico, she's going to skirt the backside of the Bahamas, and then she's going to continue north. Any chance she'll hit the U.S. mainland? Definitely. Oh, wow. Great. That's comforting. Hey, but we're better off than most. You see this island here? Yeah, that's Sandbridge, right? It's a popular tourist spot. Yeah, well, not for long. If Brenda passes through, she can put them out of business in less than 48 hours. I'll call the news director. We may not be able to tell him exactly when Brenda's coming, but we can at least fire off a warning shot. John, look, the NHC is huge. They have the most sophisticated technology at their fingertips at all times, but I want you to know... Mel, I'm not a politician. I'm a storm chaser stuck at a desk job, so I might as well make the most of it, you know? Even if the NHC warns Puerto Rico now, they're out of time for a fully vac plan. The people of Sandbridge still have a chance, you know, to get things in a place. Let's give them that chance. I just wanted to say that I think you're doing the right thing. Let's just hope you're not the only one. Those guys follow me from our apartment. Oh, you're smarter than that, Ace. I mean, does it make any sense that I drop the charges, hire the two of you, then have you beat up? I mean, trust me, you would have received a lot worse in jail. Look, it had to be someone from here. No one else knows that we're staying at that apartment. Well, did you get a good look at any of the thugs? Not really. How much do you know about me, Mr. Logan? You have a really nice casino. <laughs> well, surely you must have done your research before the big heist. You're a self-made millionaire, born poor. At the age of 25, you already made the Fortune 500 list. You've been married three times, and you're a gambler. Mm. Well, I've also done my research. Your father was a gambler, too. He lost your family savings. He left when you were 12. Until now, you've not been caught stealing, but you don't have a damn dime to show for any of your successes. I'm not a psychiatrist, but unless you change, you're doomed to repeat your father's mistakes. Interesting. Why do I snore? <laughs> I'm under the distinct impression Bill Trask is taking home more money than I'm paying him. Trask? Mm hmm My security team is loyal to him. And that's why you're here. I'm going to give you a chance to make that change. You'll report directly to me. You tell absolutely no one else about this. I have faith in you you remember, just as easy as I got you out, I can put you right back in. I think we're a lot alike, Mr. Westcott. Well, that remains to be seen. If the storm continues on its northward path, it's not likely to hit U.S. shores. However, SNM will continue to monitor the situation and keep you updated throughout the evening. Ace. Back to you, Jim and Stacy. That hurricane. Do you think it'll hit our little paradise? 
Odds are in its favor. Right. There's major devastation in the southeast end of Puerto Rico as Hurricane Brenda, a Category 3 storm, rages across the open waters of the Atlantic Ocean. An estimated 30,000 people are homeless, and the governor of Puerto Rico is requesting the area be declared a national disaster area. Meanwhile, Brenda is passing northwest of the Bahamas and could be headed straight for the U.S. mainland. The National Weather Service is keeping a close watch on the hurricane's path as it could hit anywhere from South Florida to North Carolina as early as Friday. Ted Pretty, SNN News, Florida. You got an umbrella? No, I do not. But I'm sure that shithole that Amber got us will protect us just fine. Uh, we'll just have to remember to stand in the doorway. That's earthquakes. Really? Hey, I'm not too old to kick your little butt. <laughs> ah, Mr. Logan. Oh, Mr. Westcott. No, don't get up. I was just on my way out. Amber, considering the latest weather report, why don't you give Mr. Logan an overview of our emergency storm procedures? Okay. I guess I could. Perfect. I'll see you back at the casino. We were just discussing our safe neighborhood. And how generous it was for you to get us that apartment. Well, I see I must be running. Really? So soon? See you back home, pal. He really appreciates the opportunity. So do I. Mr. Westcott's a very generous man. You really like him, don't you? He's like a father to me. I found myself in a little trouble once, and uh, he helped me out. And he got me this job. So we both owe our jobs to him? No. It's a completely different situation. Oh, you mean you were caught robbing the casino? Hardly. But he's a pretty good guy. Yeah. He seems a little distracted lately, though. Mm, he's probably worried about the storm. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I've been working so much lately, I don't know what's what. I'm Ace. You're Amber. Mm, very funny. Mm, I guess... I guess I just never thought it would consume my life like this, you know? I mean, back in Ohio when I was growing up, everything was just black and white. You went to school, you got married, you had kids, and you lived happily ever after. But not me. I had to do it my own way, have a career. So I moved down here. I guess happily ever after doesn't seem that bad. Well, at least you got Ohio to go back to. Oh, is this the part where you tell me you're just a drifter with no past and no future? No, no, I got a future. I'm working for Bill Trask down at the Grand Royale. I don't trust that guy. But you trust me. That remains to be seen. Let's get out of here. Go, go, go.
the ships right here. Jet boat ride. Take you to the graveyard of the ships. You talk us into it. Hey, hold on there. I gotta unhook you. There's some rules I gotta tell you about. <laughs>
Thanks for picking me up. Who are those guys? I was hoping you'd know. Yeah, I'm sure this happens to you every day, right? Only on the first day. How can you make a joke? Those are real goddamn bullets going by our heads. Pretty bad out there, huh? That's putting it mildly. But I've got some great news. Look, you gotta see this, Mel. What? There's been a slight but noticeable decrease in minimum sea level pressure in the last six hours. Meaning? Meaning there's a chance Brenda could lose some of her steam. Oh, my God. Well, unfortunately, it won't be soon enough. What's the word from Sandbridge? Well, Patrick Mann and the news director called, and they are airing hourly storm warnings, and residents are battening down the hatches as we speak. Mission accomplished. Now comes the hard part. Waiting. <sighs> the National Weather Service, in conjunction with FEMA, is issuing a hurricane advisory warning for Florida, Georgia, and South Carolina. An estimated 17 million people could be affected by the storm. Hurricane Brenda has already caused extensive storm surge damage to the immediate coastal areas of the Florida Panhandle and is now headed up the coastline towards South Carolina. With winds greater than 80 miles per hour, Hurricane Brenda could hit Sandbridge Island, a popular tourist resort. Reporting for SNN News in Florida, this is Ted Pretty. Are you getting some fresh air? I recommend we evacuate. What's the latest weather report? They're saying three to six hours. Fine. I want to go over all the details when Amber gets here. Yes, sir. Whoa. Take it easy there, sir. Sorry, sir. You wanted to see me? You ordered to hit on Ace? Well, I was... We're about to be handed the greatest opportunity of our lives. Ace is the perfect scapegoat. You take out a hit, what, you moved up to timetable? I thought you said... I don't pay you to think. I pay you to follow orders. Go secure the transportation. Yes, sir!
Ah, there you are. We have to go over the evacuation procedures. We're evacuating. Yeah. Yes. What happened to you? I got caught in the rain. Didn't have an umbrella? No. Well, wet or dry, we have to go over this now. We're going to notify the guests one floor at a time. We'll have shuttle buses leaving for the ferry every 15 minutes, and of course, we'll have to comp all their rooms. I'll take care of scheduling the shuttles. I'll have my men clear the floors. But when I talk to Brinks, they can still send a truck for the bank pickup. It's going to be late. No. The money stays here. No? In this storm, I think the vault will be the safest place in the world for it. I don't know. Those walls are four feet thick. This whole building could collapse, and that place will stay intact. Uh, what about the staff? Everybody is out on the last two shuttles. All right, good. I'll get my men started. OK. I need to talk to you. Oh, sure. Shoot. I wasn't just caught in the rain. What do you mean? Um, Ace, he, um... What, did he hurt you? No, God, no. Oh. He saved my life. We were, we were attacked by two men at the cafe. Oh, my God. I'm worried. Whoever they were, they aren't finished. Well, then when that last shuttle leaves, I want to make sure that you're on it, OK? What about you? Oh, I'll, I'll be right along. We'll, we'll just take your car, then. No, 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 no. You, you leave with all the others. I still have a few things I have to check out here. Are you sure? Yes. I feel like you're not telling me something. I mean, are you, are you sure you're okay? You know, I love that you're concerned about me. But I'll be fine. Okay? Okay. <clears throat> Gentlemen, start clearing the floors. We're evacuating. Let's go! We got the Briggs truck. It's already on its way. Call your man and dump it. Why? Just do it. Hey. Hey. How's it going notifying the guests? Oh, we just finished up on six. Okay. So, uh, how was lunch? Uh, hey, wait, wait up, wait up. Listen, I'm sorry. I was just, you know, just teasing her. So, uh, where, where can I find Ace, huh? You went home to change. Scratch, what's going on? Evacuate. Hurricane's due in a few hours. Oh, shit. So, uh, where have you been? Well, Amber and I, we... We had an interesting lunch. I knew it. You son of a bitch. Hey, got a serious situation on our hands here. Yeah, we do. I need you to stay behind with me. Stay behind. Be a nice bonus for you come payday. Not interested. I'm not asking. What about Scratch? Don't need him. 
asshole. Got everything? Two hula shirts and a toothbrush. You seen Amber? Oh, she was getting ready. Oh, here she is. <laughs> Let me get that. Oh. Come on. Mm. What about my bag? I got her so bad. Good. Evacuation's almost done. <laughs> Leaves us about an hour till we go in. What about Ace? Got him right where I want him. you were leaving. No, I've decided to stay. It's a hurricane. Well, the captain always goes down with the ship. Uh, Sitting the ship. I built this place. Every inch of brick and mortar. I won't abandon it because Mother Nature gets a little angry. I've got Ace staying. He'll make sure the place holds up. Then we'll both make sure. Now listen to me. You could be seriously hurt. Any number of things could happen. I've made my decision. It's final. If you're gonna catch that last ferry, you better hurry. There's no rush. Well, I guess we both came prepared. Smart guy, you're taking a hell of a gamble. Maybe I got tired of you being the captain. 
It's called pride. It's something you worked for your whole life. It's your version of pride. Wiley, I need you up in Westcott's office. See, reality's a little different. Not everyone who works for it gets it. Well, let me guess. You're talking about yourself. In fact, I am. So what's pride for somebody like me? Stealing from somebody like me. Now, taking what is owed to me. Ah, I knew you were skimming off the top, but I didn't figure it was this bad. So that's why you hired your thief, Ace? That thief is 10 times cleaner than you'll ever be. I should have bought that voice recognition system I asked you to install a year ago. I should have hired someone more reliable as my chief of security. Any word on Ace? No, not yet. Stay here. Keep an eye on him. Bennett. We'll take care of him as soon as he gets here. Any specific way? Make it look like the storm killed him. I'll check for Mr. Westcott. You look for Ace. Yes, ma'am. Scratch, what are you? No. Hey, guys, I'm looking for Ace. Don't move. What? Hey, what, are you kidding me here? Put your hands in the air. Do it. He's gonna hit the vault. Trask. What's this? Found him snooping around. Snooping around? Shut up. Who else knows you're here? Nobody. Where's Amber? She's on the ferry. An ace? I got no idea. Well, this is not good. This is not good. Take him up to Westcott's office and get back down here. Mm. Ace has got to be around here somewhere. You keep your eyes open. I'm worried about Westcott. He never showed up at the ferry. They got scratched, so maybe they got him, too. We'll get him out. Don't worry. God damn it! 
Give it a second. Backup generator. Power goes out, this goes into emergency lockdown. Westcott's got the alternate combination. Oh, shit. Some second chance this turned out to be. Why did you come back? Because Ace is my partner. And contrary to what you might think about me, I never leave a partner behind. down there and see what's going on. Right. Trask, it's Packard. I got Ace and Amber in the casino. fries and a coke tell me the combination of the vault no 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 if you shoot me you'll never get into the vault how about i shoot him Shut up. If you would be so kind. And the last one. Inside. Amazing, isn't it? People all over the world lie, cheat, kill each other. All for paper. And that's not about paper. It's about the value we place on it. I 
makes you wonder what life would be like if we placed a value on it. Shoot me in the back. Turn around. On your knees. <laughs> I think I prefer to die standing up. Die staring at the empty shelves of your vault, Captain. Ace. Got Ace and Amber. Put them in Westcott's office, send Packard to the loading dock. Yes, sir. Uh, like a goddamn circus here. got the money. You and I got to do You're better than I am. Oh. You're pathetic. 
Bennett, you don't have to do Shut up! All of you just shut up. Rask, we have him in the office. What? We've got them in the office. I can't hear you! Do as we planned! And get down here! It's gonna be fun. Combination? Yeah. Mr. Westcott gave it to me in case anything like this ever happened. Uh, you mean just in case there's a hurricane and the head of security goes psycho? Th you know what I mean. <sighs> Woo! All right. Oh, God. Mr. Westcott, are you all right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I... I'm okay. He got the money. Yeah. At least you're all right. What is Chas thinking? There's no way off the island. Maybe there is. I've got a heliport several miles from here. Shh. Fly out in this shit? That's insane. We're not dealing with sanity here. Where are you going? To stop him. Oh, let it go. Forget about the money. It's not about the money. This is a bad idea. Look, you guys just stay here. Count me in, Ace. Scratch eye. Hey, takes two to tango. Ace, please. Just be careful. OK? <laughs> I'm going to lock you guys in. What? You'll be safer in here. No, I. Um... Don't I get a kiss? Why don't you sit down? Oh, I can't. I'm worried. Well, don't be worried. They'll be fine. Oh, God, I bet he's not coming back. I mean, that's a lot of money. You know, you, you can't put a stumbling block in front of a blind man. I bet you're wrong. <sighs> you didn't see that look on his face when you were in danger.
I don't know, Ace. This wind looks too strong. I can handle it. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. Think of something. Oh, yeah, that really makes me feel confident. Looks like the storm's clearing. <coughs> no. It's the eye of the storm. And Trasky's gonna fly out and hit. Wait here. Yeah. Up again. Uh. 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 
That's it. There we are. Oh, let's go. there, sports. You know, this is the first time we've been so close to that much money without any chance of us getting caught. What do you say? Ten million dollars. Uh -huh. I have 
to admit it would be hard to bring back. Hmm. Maybe this time the house loses. Now, Trask was right about one thing. What's that? It is only money. When this storm's over, we'll be open again for business. You know, when you've had as much as I've had in my life and lost it, you begin to see the value of other things. Like what? People. I wish it were about the money. The good news is, I still have a roof over my house. Well, you're luckier than most. Looks like the worst is over here. Yeah. So, uh, did you hear any word on Sandbridge Island? Yeah, Patrick called, and he said that they did pretty well, considering the circumstances. And the hurricane's almost passed. He also said thank you. Oh, well, it's the least he could do. You saved those people's lives. Well, what would have happened if you hadn't called? But we did, didn't we? So what does it feel like to be a hero? Oh, you know, if it helps the ratings. Oh, come on. Would you learn to take a compliment? <laughs> you look terrible. Good to see you too, boss. <laughs> what about Trask? He took a dive. Well, you know, with Trask gone, we're going to need a new head of security. Mm, and one you can trust. Uh. You got anyone in mind? Mm -hmm. 